Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today we will be discussing about another genre type, which is also another personal favorite of mine. We will be diving into the cyberpunk genre, or should I say, subgenre of sci fi. So, get out your laser guns, your red leather jackets, and strap into your future Lexus or Cybertruck. And let's go shoot some bad guys. Now, on with the video. The cyberpunk genre is no less important today as it was three decades ago. With the rise of the internet and the digital age, it's clear why so many films are focused on the wars that are being raged online today. From military grade hacking to futuristic video games, the film industry has been fascinated by the idea that the digital is the future, even to the point where the machines take over our lives. But what is cyberpunk? What does the genre involve? It's essentially the futuristic idea that the digital world, including AI, digital programs, virtual reality, and AR systems will either overtake humanity and force it to succumb to its ever-evolving will, or it's going to help humanity by avoiding imminent threats, both internally and externally. The subgenre is also connected with the revolution movement, after all, the idea of humanity uniting against an invading force and becoming a movement is among the storytelling aspects that we see in the film industry today. As more and more revolutions are either against the system itself or the people controlling those systems. One such film that highlights this is the 1988 Japanese animated film or anime film, Akira. It highlights the issues of what a dystopian society looks like and how a cyber military government is never a good idea. In fact, Akira is a pioneering film not only in the cyberpunk genre, but in animated films themselves. The visual in the films are ahead of its time, using painted transparent light trails to imitate long exposure photography shots of traffic, or using transparent cells to layer backgrounds and foregrounds and their actions. And even have them interacting with each other all before the invention of multiplane cameras. And of course, it is thanks to Akira that we now have a visual theme for the cyberpunk genre. For example, the film provides many settings for its characters, and one such setting is the exposition of Neo Tokyo and the built up city in one of the establishing montages at the beginning of the film. You see short clips of the city skyline or lack thereof. It is exactly this visual that has struck throughout the cyberpunk genre. From films like Tron Legacy, Ghost in a Shell, to Anita and its multi-story cities. And if we look at Dread, we can also see this with Mega City 1. In fact, it even travels across genres to general sci-fi, like in Star Wars, um, Episode 2 The Clone Wars, or in general when we see the planet Coruscant. We can also see this through looking at films like Inception, how the dream worlds and how the characters are creating it. Of course, there is another side to the cyberpunk genre, and that it's storytelling. Most cyberpunk films will either be a revolution of some kind, or the prevention of an attack. And one of the best examples of both is none other than the Matrix trilogy. As you already know, in the first two Matrix films, were based on the idea that some humans were sentient, enough to know that they were in a system, and they were fighting that system. The last film, however, was essentially the idea that the sentient humans and the machines were working together, but just barely, to stop Agent Smith from shutting down the entire system. It is in the revolution aspect that the story of the cyberpunk genre can easily be identified. Essentially, a cyberpunk film is defined by the fight between the human and the machine, where one or the other wins. This theme has been carried through the film landscape, traveling across other sci-fi and punk genres. Examples being the Hunger Game franchise, Divergence, and even the Maze Runner franchise. Overall, the cyberpunk genre has not only grown with the animating technologies we have today, but it has become a part of other sci-fi and fantasy genres, thanks to its unique visual elements and its revolutionary storytelling. It's become a genre that has embedded itself into other genres, however subtle or obvious, well, depending on how the filmmaker wants it. It is a genre that both demands to be seen as well as hides in plain sight. And that's what makes it such an immense force in the world of filmmaking and storytelling today. And as filmmakers ourselves, 
we believe like the cyber systems and AI systems in their films, cyberpunk will slowly overtake nearly all genres of filmmaking and command the stories that are told. This was an overview of the cyberpunk genre. We have more of a detailed breakdown on our website. Check in the description box below. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. We are working on the quest genre now. So I will be watching Lord of the Rings Extended Cut and some other films for references. So please leave a like, comment and subscribe for more no input content. Beijos, ciao.